Hey everybody, welcome to the Frontier Purpose channel. My name is Billy and today we're going to be talking about without rule of law. But before we jump into today's topic, if you don't mind, go check our content, see if you like it. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, share our videos, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. Everybody, so, without rule of law. This is something that I see over and over and over in comments, on videos, and whatnot. Essentially, what I'm trying to say here is there's a lot of folks saying you don't have to worry about the rule of law because in an SHTF, there will be none. You don't have to worry about following the rules because in an SHTF, there are no rules. You don't have, you don't, you can break the law essentially because in an SHTF, there's no law. I want to throw caution here to that mindset. And I was not going to do a video today because my voice still not 100% and I wanted to rest. However, I wanted to throw caution on y'all, especially those of you who are in the prepared mindset and they keep throwing that stuff <coughs> at folks saying, you don't have to worry about it. You can do this. You know, if an SHTF happened, you don't have to worry about none of that. Uh, I've seen it on videos of communication. You don't need a license when you, um, if, uh, if a rule, if we don't have any laws, who's gonna come and and and, and check your your license? Uh, I have seen it on, on boomsticks. I have seen it on hunting related things. I have seen it on you know, if somebody has this, I'm gonna go and take it. Uh, marauders. That's pretty much what I have seen it. So I have seen it not not just in comments but in other videos. And again. I want to I want to re really emphasize on this. You do not ignore the law, because even if a system is down, if a system fails, people will still hold on to those laws, and they will take it upon themselves to enforce those laws, most likely with harsh punishment. So. What I'm trying to say here is that throughout the history of Cuba, that is an SHTF, a country under SHTF. There is law. There are rules that you have to follow because they have more boomsticks than you have. Other countries in the world, Mexico, I'm going to speak very broadly now. Mexico, Argentina, Uruguay, um, uh, what else? Uh, Brazil, South America, considering South America, complete South America. You can get away with a lot of stuff, but there are still laws and rules that you have to follow. Now, if there's no law enforcement officers to enforce that law, who do you think is going to enforce it? Most likely, they will be gang members because they do have laws too. They will be regular citizens who gang together and they will enforce those laws. Probably way, way harsher than regular law enforcement. I need you to be aware that the things that you are saying of you don't have to respect the rule of law just because an SHTF happened, that is not accurate. That is not good information. That is not good advice. What would you do if somebody comes into your house doing an SHTF? What would you do? The answer probably is I'm going to take my boomstick and I'm going to defend what is mine. Under the current rule of law, you are allowed to do so. Without rule of law, what do you think is going to happen? you're going to take it probably an extra step further. You're probably going to make sure that that person will never do it again. So there are still rules. Do not ignore them. Don't think for one second that it's going to be chaos. Well, it will be chaos if it ever happens the way that people think. It, it really will not be the same way that people think, to tell you the truth. It, it, it is so slow 
It doesn't happen from one next one day to the next. It just doesn't happen that way. So it will be so slow that by the time that you realize that you're already in it. In fact, I venture to say we are already in the beginning of an SHTF. We really are. And yet most people haven't realized it yet. So again, do not ignore the rule of law that we have right now. Most likely, even doing an SHTF, we will revert that back to to those rules because for years and years and years we were used to follow those rules in fact I'm going to give you a really quick and a very easy example to follow the power goes out you are driving and the power goes out now the street lights are not working anymore you got four street lights you don't have to stop you don't and yet you still do because in your mind you have to respect that law whoever gets there first is the one who gets to leave first again and so on and so forth you are driving during a hurricane there's no cops nowhere nearby there's no law essentially that's a mini SSTF you stop in a stop sign you will stop and look both ways you still respecting the law and SHTF will happen it will be long into it and people will still be respecting the law and following the law and take it upon themselves to enforce the law that will be a huge problem believe it or not people taking it upon themselves to enforce the law Again, when you see comments like that, when you hear videos like that, ignore the rule of law that there will be without law. Listen, I, I, I live in Cuba for 16 years. Big as HDF all the time. That's, that's what it is. And yet, there still is laws and rules that you have to follow. So, don't drink that Kool-Aid, y'all. It is not true. And uh, those comments, those advice uh, from people saying that will not get you anywhere. In fact, I venture to say that it will get you sooner rather than later on the ground. With that being said, I hope you have a great one. Like I was rock on and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, everybody.